Hello and welcome to another video on laboratory techniques produced by the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill iGym Team 2015. Today we're going to be talking about glycerol stocks and how to save bacterial colonies for later use. Bacterial stocks are a way to store plasmids for a long time. Although you can store your plasma DNA at negative 20 degrees Celsius, most labs keep a glycerol stock of transformed bacteria in case they run out of the DNA. This saves time because you don't need to obtain competent cells and retransform to get the desired DNA. It is possible to store the bacteria on an agar plate at 4 degrees Celsius for a couple weeks, but the glycerol stabilizes the frozen bacteria and the stock can be stored for many years. After you have a liquid culture of your bacteria, you will make a 25% glycerol stock solution. Take 500 microliters of the overnight culture and mix it with 500 microliters of 50% glycerol solution in a 1.7 milliliter tube. Vortex the solution and freeze the glycerol stock tube at negative 80 degrees Celsius. Make sure the solution is well mixed. From here, they can be stored in the freezer for years. Each use will reduce the shelf life of the glycerol stock. Do not thaw the glycerol stock. Incubate the solution and you will have a liquid culture with a desired plasmid. Now that you understand how to create glycerol stocks of bacteria, you are one step closer to mastering the laboratory. Go forth and discover.